Earlier in the season, you know, we had a pretty big discussion about eight, you know. We've got a big points lead, we need to conserve the points lead. I like winning races as much as anybody, but I really like winning championships. And that's, that's what you're remembered for the most, so. I flat out told him, you know, sometimes second is enough. And I, you know, I almost felt bad about it because he said later in the season, he said, you know, when he's out there riding, he's trying not to think about that, but he said he kept hearing my voice in the back of his head. We need to conserve the points lead. I like winning races as much as anybody, but I really like winning championships. That's what you remembered for the most. Sometimes second is enough, second is enough, second is enough. So I told him, I said, okay, look, man, we go to Homestead, wrap this thing up, then you do whatever you want at NOLA, no, no problem. So, uh, you know, that's, yeah, we're not gonna stop trying to make the motorcycle as good as we can make it on any given day. <laughs> was to go forward or 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 the ground or whatever but uh yeah I was gonna give everything I had for for try to win the both races uh, unfortunately yesterday I made a small mistake I pushed a little bit too hard in a place that I was on, wasn't very comfortable and I I crashed oh my God. Yeah, everybody kept on saying no pressure no pressure but I believe I felt more pressure this weekend than many other weekends. We struggled a, a little bit this weekend. We, uh, we've been here before for the, the AMA test, and the conditions were a lot different. So we got here, we put the test settings in, and they didn't work anything like it did at the test. So we had to take a, a step back and, uh, and rethink what we thought we had learned. But we had a change that we made for the race that it definitely compromised rear grip and you can see it on TV very, very clearly. So he had to really override the bike and then he loses the front. So he uh, was kind of disappointed but I was worried this weekend because I knew he was very focused on winning and I know how quickly he can go and how fast things can go wrong at that speed. I've worked with a lot of guys over the years, and Martin Cardenas is the best guy as far as the total package of being a really good racer, a good tactician, um, a guy who can set up his motorcycle, a guy who can get along with his crew, and a guy who's just basically a decent human being, pleasant to be around. So I think a lot of the guys. I am so proud to be able to work with a guy like that. If, uh, if the bike is good enough for him, he can do things like happen today. That, that last lap, I don't think I breathed more than a few times the, uh, the last 45 seconds of the race. Today was worth it, uh, the, the effort that I put on, and I managed to, uh, to win. Maybe the toughest race that I ever been, or, or one of the toughest, uh, because uh, Cameron was very strong this weekend. I think even today he was a little bit faster than me, but uh, I could do it, and uh, I kept pushing and pushing, and uh, the last lap yeah, was decided, and I came on top, and I'm very, very, very happy for it. You made it worthwhile, let me tell you. <laughs> It's worthwhile, my friend. Yeah. It's always uh, good and fun to to do well when the sponsors are, are here watching you. This, this is a guy that if you put the right bike under him, he can win anything. There's just no doubt about it. I'm 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 really really proud of him, and I'm proud of the team. I admit, Colombia number 36, Martin Cardenas.
seen the signs on the passes by Something's got to give Can't be free if it's good for me But this good thing comes along And I can't hide too long Saving people money on more than just car insurance.